to run with. Enchanted Rita. <laughs> we are standing in the Disney dress shop. Yes, and I'm trying on this really cute dress. Oh my God. Look is how pretty she is. Princess goals. So this is brand new to the Disney dress shop. We've never seen it before. I just tried on a dog dress. It made me look very, very frumpy. Yeah, that was not but the cutest this thing. This is gorgeous. This is cute, you guys. And it has like so much like fluff. I'm like a princess. <laughs> See, look at my wedding dress. Just hanging out in downtown Disney, saying hi. Talk soon. Good morning. It is January 3rd and we are at Disneyland. I'm really excited because this is my first time using a gimbal. Woo, I'm testing this baby out. This is really cool. Um, but I am going to Disneyland, to downtown Disney, because it is my birthday. So I decided just to go ahead and why not and bite the bullet and <laughs> just have some fun uh, walking around downtown for my birthday. It is still the holiday time, by the way. I'm noticing that the lines, from the last time I was here, just, before, just after Christmas, the lines were really long to get in and the lines are long again. So I'm gonna, guys, I'm gonna show you guys a shortcut to how you can get to downtown Disney and avoid waiting in this really long security line. Let me just show you real quick. So that is the security lines to get into downtown Disney. I'm not waiting those long lines because that will take a really long time. So I'm gonna take you the path. This is the parking lot. Downtown Disney, we're gonna go over there, which is where the hotel entrance is. And I'll show you that in just a second. So we are on the immediate path. Behind me is everyone walking to downtown Disney, but we are actually going to go through this other pathway, which will lead us to the hotel entrance for the Disneyland Hotel. And that is how you get into this park a lot quicker. This is the path. That's everyone walking to the downtown Disney line once again. So if you walk down this path, this will take you to the Disneyland Hotel secret entrance way and I'll show you how different the line is to get in and then there you go right there is the Disneyland Hotel hat and these are the lines to get in this way it's a little bit later in the morning so these lines are longer than I normally am used to however this will go a lot faster and you can see there's a lot more of them which is crazy because you'd think they'd have that capacity coming to the downtown area. But no, this is just the hotel side. Okay, so it was 11.27 when I got in that line. It was 11.32 when I just got out. So that was five minutes. Approximately not too bad. And we are now standing, um, there's Starbucks behind me. You guys can see that it's so sunny, so it's hard to see the glare. I'm standing in front of where the entrance is by monorail to Disneyland. You can go into Tomorrowland right from there, but I'm not going to go into the parks today again because I don't have a, a ticket, a pass, but I am going to go to Pin Traders, which is right immediately to the front um, of me, and that's right to the right of this Disneyland entrance, and I'm going to show you guys the pins. So let's go ahead and show you that. It's full price right here. And I got that for $3.99 at the Character Warehouse. This is brand new. I'm buying this today. Yes, yes, yes. Spotted new ears. 
I've never seen these before. These weren't here a couple days ago when I was here. They have the purple one still. Um, just to show you, they have these beautiful purple potion ears, which I was considering getting today. However, I haven't seen these before. These are nice and puffy, and they're pink. And you can see, can you see that? Yeah. You can see there's the castle on there, and Space Mountain, and the partner statue. These are nice. So these must be new for the new year. I hadn't seen this before. I love when they bring in new ears. Here is the current pin display at Pin Traders. Ooh, they still have these. That's interesting. I thought there was a sellout. And that's new today. Jumbo! And these are the new princess collection letters as well. Okay, so that was a success. I got the new Dumbo pin, and then I also got a new trading pin. I just saw a Disneyland pin. It actually says Costco Travel on the back. But I got that pin, and I gave them my extra Dumbo trading pin because I figured, eh, don't need that. So let's continue going and see what else I can find. Yay! at Disney Home. I don't know how long they've had this, but this is a gorgeous line of merchandise. Cinderella plates, and this is like fine china. It feels really, really nice. I love this one in particular. How cute is that? It's only $17 only. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting so used to Disney prices. It's a bargain. And look at this cute trinket plate. I'm loving this too. This one's 15. I wouldn't spend $15 on this, but it's gorgeous. Maybe if you're like looking for a wedding setting, you could use these right here. I think that's the intent because it's with the Mr. and Mrs. mugs. Okay, so that makes sense. But very, very cool. We have to get used to this gimbal being slower. Mugs! Marceline's Confectionery.
Purple is my color, guys. Ah! I'm restraining, I'm restraining, I'm restraining. And now for the last time that I probably will go to this gingerbread display. Yeah. This holiday season. Hello, Grand Californian. sip is always amazing. Mm. It's so hard to describe. It's like the thickest dark chocolate cocoa you'll ever taste. And I'm a big fan of dark chocolate and thick hot chocolates. This is like heaven in a cup. And I just found out some great news. I asked the people how long, how much longer they're going to have the snacks on display. And they said that this little uh, treats kiosk in the Grand Californian is going to be going away on January 6th, which is the end of the holiday season, which that makes sense. However, they are going to come back in Valentine's Day and for Mother's Day because they were doing so popular. They were so popular this year, they're doing so well, they're going to come back. So I'm really looking Thank forward to so come back in Valentine's Day. So I'm currently sitting in the nursing room in the Grand California. This is new. They just opened this, they told me. Um, but I used to have to find a little private area in the back of the lounge, the Grand Californian, and there was like a lot of couches over there. They're usually unoccupied, but given that it's a more busier time of season, there were tons of people in the lounge and didn't really want to do it there publicly, so the cast member was very sweet and said, oh, do you need a nurse? And took me to this little side room. So if you need a nursing area in the Grand Californian, they have one, just ask. So I'm currently sitting in this private room, um, and yes, I am still nursing my son, even though he just turned one. I'm trying to wean him at this point. I nursed my daughter until she was 20 months, which is a very long time, and that is not my goal with my son. Now that he's a year, I want to wean him right now, but uh, we were <laughs> at the very end stages of this. So maybe TMI, sorry guys, but I just figured I'd share this information in case anyone is looking to nurse and they are in the Disneyland area and need to know a spot that is quiet and private. So this is the case. Um, and then I also want to share that I just got some hot chocolate and some uh, chocolate covered strawberries are my favorite dessert ever. I don't get it that often because they're so expensive. However, I bought these special chocolate covered strawberries that are filled with shots. So I was gonna get one of the cookie shots and get like a shot of rum chata with it and then after I nursed, drink that. Um, but instead, I got these strawberries. So I'm gonna show you right now. So here it is. It says Grand Californian Hotel and Spa. And this is my special treat to myself today. You can see it's very, very sparkly. I guess this is more like New Year's themed, but this one has a shot of Bailey's. Um, this one has a shot of rum chata, and I forget what the third one was. It might have been the uh, Kahlua or whatnot. I guess I will try it and find out. But all three strawberries have a shot in this little vial. Uh, attach so this will be fun to enjoy later and you know it's more of a grown-up snack but I'm very excited to have this and then you can't go wrong with my favorite treat ever during the holidays and this is the holiday hot cocoa nothing better this is the entrance from the Grand Californian to downtown Disney not, hello not a single person in sight <laughs> Tis the season for beverages. I just got the new black and white frappuccino from Starbucks. It was using my birthday reward. Apparently you have to only use your birthday reward on your actual birthday. So I just redeemed it and this is free. This is the new black and white frappuccino. Never got it before so I'll try it. Pretty good. It's kind of like a mixture of the mocha you can definitely taste the mocha with a little bit of like that white chocolate drink that they were doing for a while. So that's what this is. But anyway, rate, so, so our time at Disneyland has come to an end. That was a fun downtown Disney tour. Hopefully you enjoyed that with me. And I will put this together and, and you'll have a nice vlog, vlog later on. But I uh, just wanted to share this with you. This is for Lindsay 10. <laughs> Lindsay uh, requested that I do some more Disneyland vlogs. So that's what my impetus was to come here today. It was for you guys. <laughs> All right, well, take care from me and my son. See, it says I'm celebrating. And I even have my new birthday button right there to commemorate the fact that it's my birthday. Um, I also want to just share that 
The Grand Californian is so sweet. I'm not even staying there, but they gave me a place to nurse, and then when I asked for a birthday button, they actually gave me a free bar of chocolate. That's one thing that the Disney luxury hotels do. Um, I just, I've, I've noticed this in Disney World as well, in Florida, but it's just the more expensive the hotel is. You don't even have to be staying there. They just have great customer service. I wish that all around, um, that that was the case with the, with the cheaper tier hotels as well because that's usually where I stay. But still very cool to get a free chocolate on your birthday. So thank you to Disney. Thank you to you guys for watching my travels. And now I'm going to go have a long drive ahead of me because I'm sure there's going to be traffic. Getting back home, but it was worth it. So, all right, talk to you all later. Bye. Hi, everyone. Hey, everyone. <laughs> all right, so we're back filming. We are we spent the entire day in downtown, or the entire day, the entire morning. <laughs> in downtown Disney, we had a blast. And now we're going to take a photo because they have these beautiful photo backdrops. They're right, so cute. Right at the entrance. So cute. And we're really sad to say goodbye. I know. We had a great time, though. <laughs> we window shopped like crazy. We did. We yeah. did a lot of window shopping and hopefully that we spent money but didn't. We did except for pins. A little bit. <laughs>